Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody in YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Grixis Davriel. So we're building a deck based around Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage. Uh, it says, at the beginning of each player opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in hand, Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage deals two damage to them and has minus one target player discards a card. So basically, this is a card that you know makes our opponent discards cards and then punishes them for not having very many cards in hand uh, when it stays out on the battlefield. Um, Mukhtani says you, you said you love Davriel and Mono Black. Nice. This so this was a donation deck here, as you know, as you can tell up here, we're doing all donation decks today. I guess if you're watching this video later on YouTube, you may not know that if you just click over. We're doing all donation decks today. This is one that I. I had a really hard trouble building, so I had a donation that was that was um, to build a deck similar to Eight Rack in Modern, where you're punished for not having cards in hand, and that's just kind of a really hard thing to do in Standard. Davriel is basically the only card that punishes somebody for not having any, any cards in hand. And then, like, what to do with Davriel, then there's a lot of different things. Like, we could go creature aggro with, like, like a red-black aggro with, like, Davriel and Angrath. But, you know, like, that's not really, like, 8-rack. Um, and so, like, 8-rack is kind of prison-y a little bit. So that's why I was thinking, like, a little more control. But I didn't want to just make it, you know, like, super hard control. You know, I didn't want it just to be, like, a, a real hard control deck. So I'm going kind of a little bit in the middle with, like, the Dread Horde Invasions and Thief of Sanity and stuff like that. Um... I guess yeah, maybe I could have Nars. So so basically, what I'm saying is is if you if you have a good idea for like a a, a standard eight rack style deck um, to punish people having cards in hand, because uh, it's somebody that like plays modern that's like just getting into standard. If you have an idea for that, like if you're watching this later on the YouTube channel, feel free in the comments to like you know uh, link a deck list in there if you have a, a good idea there. Um, so. Yeah, maybe you could do... So Dr. Perry says maybe Mono Black with, like, Karn's Bastions so you can proliferate and put more counters on Davriel. But I liked I liked the idea of, like, maybe playing this with Narset, where Nar Narset prevents them from drawing multiple cards. Maybe that's, like, a thing to do. Like, Blue Black... Just go straight up Blue Black with, with that. Um, so I'm also not going with Disinformation Campaign. I, I kind of felt like Thief of Sandy is just better than Campaign. And, like, so... It's it's kind of hard to play Thief and Davriel and Campaign, I think. But maybe it's not. Um, so maybe that's, like, also the way to go is maybe just go blue-black with, like, no Thief and, and could go, like, Narset, Disinformation, Campaign, Davriel. I don't know. Like, that... I, I wanted Grixis because I wanted Angrath, you know, discarding cards. You know, so I wanted Angrath with that. That's why we got Angraths in here. And then Bolas also, let's discard card. This was just... Yeah, this was just a, a difficult idea to kind of come up with um but we're, we're gonna try this out so we're gonna try this grixis davriel um which is very similar to the grixis control that i was playing as you can tell but but we got the uh, the played like yesterday uh but we got davriel's in here uh and so we'll kind of see how powerful davriel is you can notice i got a couple of unmoored egos over here to hopefully help out against nexus decks um and there we go we got god eternals enter the god eternals for aggro to pair with our dread horde invasion We'll give this a try, but yeah, if you if you would like to, you know, if you would like to try to build an eight rack deck, or if you have like one that you would, the you know that comes to mind, feel free to link that in the comments uh, later on, or of course if you're here in Twitch chat right now, uh, feel free to link something now if you want to try to build something, and I uh, will send that also over to the person that donated. Captive audience is just so expensive. Captive audience does. I mean, it doesn't really punish any the person for not having cards in hand, because one of the things does say discard your hand. Clone Davriel with Spark Clones. Yeah, that that could be in the blue like blue black Narset Davriel deck with Spark Double. Also, that could be a thing.
Oh, there's yeah, Davriel's a, a cool planeswalker, and there's like some some different ways to go, but yeah, it was a, it was a tough one. Yeah, the surveil plus the surveil route. I I kind of thought that Thief of Sandy would be better than surveil route, especially. I I, I feel like uh, Thief of Sandy pairs pretty well with Davriel. If Davriel is like three mana, make them discard three cards, where you can really empty their hand quickly and then have your thief stay out on the battlefield because they don't have a hand. So I was thinking like Thief of Sandy is another way to punish somebody for not having a hand because they don't have a removal spell for it, and then it just takes all their cards. Is this just good old blue-white control? Or is this, is this like Esper with a couple basics? Mm -hmm. Blast zone. Yeah, this looks like just good old blue-white control. So they want a Blast Tone to destroy Dreadhorde Invasion. That will destroy their Azkanta as well. They could, of course, wait until Azkanta transforms before doing that. Oh, there's our Rogue Shadow Mage. The Rogue Shadow Mage. That is a little annoying that, like, the type... I wish... You know, I have like the all this the font over here of just like the information about stuff. I kind of wish whenever I did that, it would put the card on top of that, though. There's not really a way for me to program that. Um, let's start with Bolas. I feel like they could maybe have Negate. I don't really expect a. I mean, I mean, there's obviously counter spells they could have. There's you know a lot of counter spells they could have, but I think the most uh, likely one that they would have with one blue mana is a Negate. The other good, great part about Bolas here, especially now that it resolves, is that our opponent's going to have to answer this this board with something. You know, like they're going to have to play a sweeper or something like that to answer these. And whenever they do, then we get to land our Angrath or Davriel. Is Bolas worth using in a wild card on? Potentially. I mean, it depends if you like playing Grixis stuff. If you like playing Grixis, absolutely. You know, Nickel Bolas is definitely the card you need. The other kind of slight problem about Davriel here, to a lesser extent, I mean to the same extent Angrath, both of them, is that making the opponent discard a lot of cards right now with as can't with them wanting to flip as Kanta isn't like the best. All right, so I feel like they want to play Chemist's Insight, so we should probably play one of our threats. We have two Angrath, so it makes sense to play an Angrath. We'll do that. Since we have a second Angrath, we'll go and throw one out, not let them Chemist's Insight. No, he definitely don't. So yeah, I bet they had Dovin's Veto last last turn whenever we played the Bolas. No, def we don't need Ashiok for anti Ascanta main deck, no. You could maybe have that in your sideboard for for anti Ascanta, but I don't even think you need that. I think there's just better. Like, I, if, if you're really worried about Ascanta like that, I would rather just have Field of Ruin. Definitely feels like they need to Chemistry's Insight. No, Ashiok's not good against Sultai. Like, it, it likes 
kind of stop find but when you're playing like a like playing as a yeah like it's okay against find finality but it's not even that great because it's, it's really easy for them to just attack ashiok it's not like ashiok's protecting I'll have itself to order 20. it's really easy for them just to attack ashiok and you and ashiok not doing anything yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking too. Our opponent's digging for a second white source to look for a sweeper. That sounds like a reasonable assumption. Hey, we're doing great, Boot. How you doing? We're playing all donation decks today. We did, you know, a bunch of ranked yesterday. So we going through hopefully five donation decks today. Do they just discard revitalize? Interesting. Yeah, we got a standard rack here with Davriel. So, sweeper or. Nah. Alright, sweeper. Look at this thing. Oh, you can't see that thing. That's behind my camera. <laughs> yeah, we do not have a Karn's Bastion to proliferate the Davriel back up. Discard. No fire. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. I have not had a chance to revisit no Monorek basic the new set, no. no uh, new Chandra could be pretty interesting in that deck. Not sure better than Karn or not. I could see better than Karn. I don't think you'll be needing that. Hmm. Devious cover up and absorb. Yeah, you don't need those. And we got a permanent that costs two mana, a permanent that costs three mana, and a permanent that costs five mana. Even though they got double blast zone. Yeah, you can substitute different, you know, different things for for the Dreadhorde invasion. Absolutely. Um, so there's already a Danto Vanguard and Tithe Taker in there. Um, you could play Takali Honor Guard if you want. If you like, if you're running to a lot of Soltai, which you know Soltai is a t real tough matchup for that deck. So you could play Takali Honor Guard there. You're, you know, it's not as good, at, not nearly as good against control. Um, you could also just play like the white knight to be protection from all the black removal or hex like there's just so much black removal everywhere even like Sultai's playing you know hostage takers and that kind of stuff so you could play the white knight you definitely want a two mana card what's our opponent doing oh yeah counter spell Counterspell control. So if we bring in these kind of things, cut these kind of things. That looks solid. Yeah, I did enjoy the Simic Hydra deck, yeah. Yeah, Spark Double could work here. I think you would want to... You probably want more... If you're playing Spark Double, you probably want less of the interactive spells that we have and more targets for Spark Double. I think you want to just be, like, really creature and Planeswalker heavy for it. So this wouldn't be, like, the best shell, but... Could, could do some stuff. We were talking about maybe having uh, Narset, you know, building a Davriel deck blue black with like Narset uh, to keep them from drawing cards, Davriel to make them discard, and then maybe Spark Double to copy those things. Today's the 29th. Okay, 
Alright, getting uh, some Akadra up on YouTube. It'll be up soon. It's like at the processing 95% stage where it just sits there for a while and then just after a while, it'll just suddenly process. Would Spark Double work within a mass token? And then would they both get pumped up by Dreadhorde Invasion? Is the question. And the problem. Gosh, do we just. How do we. How do we get rid of another Thief of Sanity? We just can't, right? This card's just too good. We need land drops, though. So the problem is, whenever you spark double in a mass token, the mass token is a zero zero with counters on it, and so you would just be making your spark double just enter as a zero zero because it would not enter with the counters. Or wait, does it? Actually, wait, doesn't spark double say it enters with a counter? So I guess it would enter with a counter, but they would not both get the counter though. As you can see here, put a one-one counter on an army you control. So you get you get you could choose like which army. But they would not both get it. I should just put that thief in the graveyard. I just need lands. Uh, Illustrious, I think you misunderstood what I was saying. But yes, if there's no target, Spark Double will not enter as a 1 1. That's what I was saying. It would not. If you target it in a mass token, it will not enter as a 0 0. It will enter with a 1 1 counter on it as a 0 0. I honestly don't even know if we're ahead here. We're probably not. They get to spend a whole lot more mana than us because they have a whole lot more mana. We're actually pretty far behind. Not pretty far. It's not pretty far, but we are behind. I guess we have the second counter spell, though. I guess we do have the two counters. So that's good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Simic Hydra definitely competitive. Um, I talked about at the end at the end of the video, which is you know going up, which will be up in like who knows, like ten minutes or so. Um, I talk about things that. I would like to do with the deck to change it. Also to make it more competitive and then we're going to play the updated version tomorrow in ranked. Ugh. Really getting punished for keeping the thief. We're hopefully going to just mill our opponent out.
Yeah, no, I don't. I don't actually expect to mill them out, but yeah, they can. Devious cover up, put some, put some stuff back, especially that Dawn of Hope. Yeah, I don't actually think we're gonna mill them out. I was just kind of saying that. But yeah. Be nice to have one mana. I'm known for my excellent timing. Reverse. I really should have seen that coming. <clears throat> yeah. Our opponent's playing all the dove and vetoes, all the negates. They really do mean business. Are there others like me? So glad to meet you. <laughs> Talk to the wall. Alright, so this is each opponent, so we don't target. Uh, that one's target. I'm also pretty surprised I was not devious cover up. But yeah, that's why I was thinking with the cover up we needed. Didn't want them to shuffle stuff back in to their library. There's the cover-up now. Good play by them for saving the cover-up. They get to shuffle stuff back in. But I, I just can't take it. I just can't, like, you know, not play stuff and let them activate Escanta. So I just have to play things. <laughs> if you think Esper is really dull, this is even... Our opponent's just going just full-on... Like, blue-white super control. And all the absorbs. So we've seen three negates, three absorbs. We saw Dobin's veto game one. I don't know if they run out of cards because of Escanta. We'll see. Bleh. <laughs> Looks like we're we're starting to draw lands though, so we're we're gonna be able to start we're gonna be emptying our 
our hand here. Devriel, Rogue Shadow Mage. All right, let us have it. Let us have it. Much easier on my skin. Of course, Davriel, we cannot minus because that's the one that does target. But it can trigger still. Counterspell or insight? Which one you which one you playing? Alright, it's in there. Why is Teo just over here spinning around dinner plates? Got nothing else to do? Oh yeah, Narset here would be great. Why not make them discard? Because they have Hexproof. You have Hexproof. I cannot target them. Come on. There you go. Any more settles over there? No settle. Time to mill them out. See if they find another Cleansing Nova. So many counter spells. Even Disdainful Stroke. So that's three Absorbs in the bin. Three Negates in there also. Gosh, we had so many lands for them earlier. Where's their Dovin's Vetoes? They had Dovin's Veto last game. We haven't seen that yet. So we can expect some Dovin's Vetoes. My plan right now, if Teferi resolves, is like play Teferi, tuck the Dawn of Hope, hit him with Thief of Sanity, steal the Dawn of Hope. I feel like that could be like their one win con. There's Dovin's Veto. No, stealing, stealing cover ups not game. I mean, the, the Dawn of Hope will kill us faster than we'll kill them. We have to mill them out before the Dawn of Hope kills us, basically, or get rid of the Dawn of Hope. Um. All right, another cleansing Nova gone. Rock Sunger. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Rox. Alright, there's the fourth absorb. Nah, it's not worth it to attack Teo. It's like two, you know, two attacks with Thief, where I'd rather have the two Thief activations than get rid of Teo. They're down to 10 cards in library. I mean, Cleansing Nova and Teferi are both 5 mana answers for Dawn of Hope. So I might as well take the one that, like, kills me, which is the Teferi. Also, like, they're... 
yeah, if, if it would resolve, I mean, <laughs> doesn't seem like anything's resolving. Do they have a second devious cover-up is like the main question here. I would, I would think you usually play two devious cover-ups, right? So you can have like one tuck the other one. Like that's like the reason to play the card. I can no longer stand by and watch. <laughs> I don't really mind it. Don't oh, worry. Mitchin, I have I, I have a a deck that I'd like you to to check out. I have a a blue black control deck that I think you may like. You know, like I I I went with your deck and I was playing it and you know changing stuff like not not having a haunt a high tower deck, but you know how you you have for me to make an anti control deck. All right, good. We didn't didn't get devious cover up. That's good. Here goes nothing. Really need our eighth land where I could like play Teferi and Thieva Sanity in one turn. I don't know, like they they probably just have enough counter spells. For both of them anyway. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, I'm going to take one more draw step before I concede, but I'm certainly very close to conceding. That, that's all. Those are all the counter spells we've seen. Just negate, Dovin's Veto, Absorb, Devious Cover Up, and Disdainful Stroke. They'll kill us with Dawn of Hope faster than, than they'll mill out. They have five cards still. They're going to kill us a lot faster than that. We would need to get another Thief of Sanity hit in, but I don't really see how we can do that. If they Blast Zone for three, do we have a chance then? We duress away counter enough counter magic to do something. 
Probably not. I would assume they were just going to minus their Teferi, though, and bounce my Thief. They could, out there. they could have just bounced my thief with the fairy. Draw, draw, pay two. Go ahead, pay two, pay two. They didn't pay it to at all. Hmm. They just got rid of their planeswalkers. So they have four negates, three Devons. Dovin's Veto, so we gotta just assume they have four. So four negate, four Dovin's Veto, four Absorb. That's interesting. I guess they do have like a good amount of planeswalkers. All right, so what if we unmoored Ego away their Dawn of Hope or Devious Cover-Up or both? Our opponent's taking a little bit of time here to sideboard. I can see them playing Lyra Dawnbringer. Gonna be a little cog cognizant. Cognizant. Oh no, I'm gonna be ready for that card. No, we saw two Teferis. There was a couple of cards in their deck that we didn't know about yet. They had like four or five cards that we weren't sure about that were still in their deck. Blue mana. Our life would have been so much easier to have blue mana there. I would have been playing Thief of Sanity, by the way. Because Thief would not have been getting countered there. That was the card that I would have been playing if we drew a blue source. With them tapped out. But now I just wait on negate. If I 
anything I play just gets countered, right? So like there, I just hold my negate up for uh, their disenchant. If we draw another blue source, we can like thought erasure and have negate up, kind of thing. Like they're gonna wait till they have five mana so they can disenchant plus have a counter spell. Can't it be blue? Why can't I thought erasure and thief of sanity? Uh, so lucky. If we, yeah, if we would have just, if we would have unmoored Ego on turn three for and named Dawn of Hope, we could still lose to Teferi. Just Teferi ult could still just mill us out. It's not like Dawn of Hope's their only way to win that we saw. Plus, they could have boarded in another win con. We don't know about that. So I think just having Thieva Sandy in play is just more valuable than just trying to, like, resolve unmoored Ego for Dawn of Hope, and then we don't, like, resolve anything else, and... Yeah, obviously we didn't have the, the blue source either turn, so it's kind of a moot point. So that's the one I, w I would rather have Unmoored Ego countered than Thought Erasure. So they're getting a couple Gideon's Triumphs. They took out Settle. Chill out, screen. Yeah, of course. If I, whenever you click all three, then it just goes away. So I was looking at the deck. So I did, didn't click all three first. I was looking at the deck. If I would have clicked three right away, I didn't get to see the deck. They are a really good deck to Thief of Sanity against, though, because you just get counter spells all the time. Hmm. 
<clears throat> I was like, man, my opponent's just gonna be able to absorb back, and then, you know, then playing it, I was like, oh right, Dovin's Veto, can't be countered. That was convenient. <laughs> oh right. We did get a nice from our opponent. <laughs> Uh, I would play, right now I'd play the Gruul deck that we played last night, see well. Um, we're going to be trying a Simic deck tomorrow, based on the Simic Hydra that we just played. That also has some good potential. If I don't Thought Erasure, they just get to Ascanta or Dawn of Hope. That's alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our opponent was pretty surprised we got a Counterspell from the Counterspell Tribal deck. No, I didn't see that, Rex. If it was in Discord while I've been streaming, I don't. I don't check Discord while I'm streaming. So they wanted to pay two mana to draw a card. I don't really want to let them pay two mana to draw a card. It is my duty to protect the vulnerable. I'll block them off. I guess I should have just thought erasured. Hmm. Hard punish for not thought erasing. Fit to Gazi to make their land into a nine nine, and then add a counter it with the with Hadana's climb. Oh yeah, flip then flip Hadana's climb. Oh, they did have settle. Side with whomever brews the best tea. Alright, yeah, I really should have cast the Thought Erasure the previous turn. All right, so that gets absorbed. I'm gonna cleanse. I think I just cleansing Nova away. I mean, I guess they get to draw. Okay, good. I think I cleansing Nova away enchantments. I think I trade my Dreadhorde invasion for their Dawn of Hope, especially with this thing being a three-three. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I've got it.
Okay. <clears throat> Back to them. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Anything to support my allies. Yeah, I, I can't do anything with Davriel and Thought Rager, as y'all have figured out now. We did really good the other day with the Black White Midrange, yeah. Worked out really well. Uh, that that video is up on the YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it. Ugh. That's an annoying one. That's going to make me sack my 3-3. Three, three. That's an annoying one. All right. Well, I'm going to be attacking the Teo. Start making them discard these cards. I hope to serve. Yeah, they still again. have Wincon left in their deck. They should have like I think they have another devious cover up, right? That they can devious cover up back the Dawn of Hope. I think. They shouldn't have any more settles left. I think they they only had, maybe, yeah. I guess. I don't know if, if anybody wants to go back and check that of like if they have another one. I would just assume that they'd have two, but maybe they only did have one. Oh well, there you go. There's your answer. They had another one. Let's tidy up in there. That, like, didn't even move at all. They had it in their hand because I just thought erasured them and that was an option, so that was definitely in their hand. <laughs> but it, it, did, you know, it didn't make it seem like I made them discard anything. All I've left you is pain. Bleh. They put the the cleansing Nova back and they found one. Bleh. All right, let's draw Nicol Bolas. No, I am not making this up as I go. Nicol Bolas. And Graf. Yeah, the devil. All right, whatever. Kill that. You just let me know if you're up for round two. I'm not. I'm just get out of here for good. Oh my. Loneliness can hurt. Oh, this is such a long match. I don't feel like we're winning. <laughs> Used up so much time just to played this match. Uh. So both the devious cover-ups are over there, so they're not getting any of these cards back. I think if we can mill them out, that's it. The opponent does not have zero cards in hand on upkeep. It's it's on their upkeep, not on my upkeep. 
Ugh. All right, can we draw a threat here? Okay, threat. Draw threat achieved. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. Uh Yeah, I think this is a game. At least we'll make it so they don't get to, to draw their card off Dawn of Hope by casting it there. But They just have too many. Oh maybe they maybe they whiff on a counterspell? Whiff on counterspell? I, mean, I think they can just gain enough life back though that what Angrath deals. Never whiff. Hey, DJ Polly B. And how's game number one? Ugh. Our opponent's really happy, though, I bet, so. I do not. Reg I don't think I. Uh, I don't regret any thing with the thought erasure for the person saying that they thought that was a punt. I don't. Where's the cat? Oh, you can't see him. He's he's back. He's. He's sleeping back there in the blankets. You can barely see him. Right back there. Looks like I'm poking him. Poke. 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 All right, gotta focus back in on uh, playing some magic. Hey, Eddie. I don't know, I guess so. I want to play the Davriel on an empty board. Yeah, we go Davriel. We empty their hand and Make this get quick. removal out of their hand I'm for, for then Team Sandy to take over afterwards. For a yeah, no longer counter tribal. Yay. This looks like kind of a beginner deck, though. I liked Nissa. Yeah, we uh, only played her a couple of times, but we did get a couple of big crises. Really, like one big crisis with it. Perish the thought. Huh. No third land drop. Yeah, this is. Now this is a cards in collection deck. We're in the O one bracket. Let's tidy up in there.
So just making sure they didn't have a lightning strike to kill this Thief of Sanity. <laughs> Can you draw these two mana spells? Oh, this is actually, I mean... Maybe we're in trouble. I, should, I guess I should have kept that Bedevil. I'm happy to trade like those two twos, of course. Like, I mean, happy is a strong word, but we're trading those two twos. We're in a little bit of trouble. If we draw a land, maybe okay. This mask is intimidating enough. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> uh, not really. Ooh, what's that sound? So, you know, definitely playing Enter the God Eternals next turn. If we draw the land, that is. Yeah, not a good showing for our deck so far, but it's means it's all going to get better from here. Oh, finally, nap time. We've seen them play like Sheltering Light. So I'm not gonna wait till like they attack. Could draw a, a Sheltering Light, I guess. Sky Terror is gonna do us in. Well then, that was a little ridiculous. Hmm. So I guess I should have played the Thief of Sandy immediately on turn three instead of Davriel. You know, they never they did not have any removal for the vicinity and they had a ton of two mana creatures that would have been great to grab off of the vicinity No, I don't think I really want Cry of the Carnarium. I don't think we need that. If we don't draw a fourth land... <laughs>
That would be really sad. Yeah, I got rid of the Bedevil thinking that, you know, wanted the fifth land for Nicol Bolas, but we just never, ever found that fifth land. All right, here we go. The mask is scary, but underneath, I empty your mind. Well, what kind of deck do you have that you want to replace Azkanta with? Oh yeah, yeah. We lost the game to a flying grave digger. <laughs> we were at like what, like four, and they like played some spell to give their creature like mighty leap, a grave digger. <laughs> and I was like, no. I don't think you'll be needing that. Okay, playing that deck. Um, maybe just another land, honestly. Just putting in a 26th land in that deck. I would, because Sertros Kanta helps you hit your land drops, and without it, just having another land. If you don't want to put another land in, I wouldn't mind having like a charter course in the deck. Maybe that. Over the Escanta. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. Chance for glory. If you surrender now, let me pick your brain for a minute. Ugh, what a whiner. All right, the raptor. It's relentless. Struggling? Good. It is relentless. Got to attack with it. In case they had another Hyromancer's Cage in their in their hand or that kind of card, I'd just play the Davriel first. Dang, I'm sorry to hear that, Kaikulamu. I haven't had a bellowing Aegisaur in play in a while. All I've left you is pain. Not since Ixalan Limited. I used to play a lot of Ixalan Limited. Cool, underlip it. Yeah, let me know how it goes. Ugh. I was going to mark it over there that we won, but we didn't win. Not yet. Yeah, it has the cure a planeswalker. Simakhydra does. Has that. Sultai Muldrotha. It's going to be our next deck. 
And then what do we have? Selesnya tokens. So yeah, tomorrow we got that early stream. Of course, Saturday is when I'm planning on doing the next sub battle day on Saturday. That's so that's a it's a really fun event if y'all haven't uh, been here for a sub battle day before. It's where I just play against subscribers um, all day. They bring their crazy brews. I have a, a wheel uh, that I spin to find out what deck I'm playing. So we spin the wheel, I uh, play a random deck, and. Like they bring their brews and it's it's just a whole lot of fun. We do that all day. Um, so we're gonna be doing that on Saturday. Do that whenever we hit a certain number of sub goals over here, and we've hit that. If you're yeah getting run over by Gruel Aggro. Yeah, Gruul is, is like one of the toughest matchups for Grixis. Um, if you are, you may need... Uh, oh, whoops. Yeah, whatever. You may need more, you know, Ritual of Soots. But that is a tough one. Y'all think I should just concede? But then, but then we'll be done with our league. You know, this is a league that whenever we lose two, we're out. Yeah, our opponents had good game, and so I said good game back. You just gotta be a subscriber to be able to play Saturday. And we pick I pick a random subscriber each time. Like we do it kind of giveaway style, so you just have to be a subscriber and be here in chat. Dealing with you would be easier than dealing with demons. So I'm, I'm pretty sure my opponent said good game. Because now I'm thoughts. feeling like they didn't say it with y'all. And that I thought they did. Yeah, our opponent got that win the first time. <laughs> yeah, this Saturday. Is there a better day than Saturday? Yeah, I usually just play him the next day, Mayor Emmanuel. Empty your mind. Uh, for for now, we'll be doing the the Saturday stream normal time, three to ten. Uh, unless we hit one of these goals to do a 12-hour stream, which we're not super close to any of them right now. Any of those right now. So probably just normal time, 3 to 10. Yeah, deck donations I usually play the next day. Uh, right now, I do have about five decks in the queue. So like right now, you're looking at like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like any, any of those days. So uh, for a deck donation, you can, you can pick your day. Uh, if basically Wednesday or later, just let me know which day you would like. If you'd like to donate for a deck, basically with deck donations, you always, if you just let me know the day, I will accommodate. You know, day and then early or late in stream. Also, you kind of let me know what time I can accommodate that way as well. Uh, this deck is the first deck on the stream decker. It's called Grixis Davriel. It's the very first one. I don't think our opponent's playing very many lands. No one has seen my face. Let's tidy up in there. Like in general. We haven't seen very many lands in any of these games. 
Like, they have a 60-card deck. But I feel like they may have, like, 20 lands or something like that. All right, one and one. All tap lands. All buddy lands. That's why we're on the draw. We're going to draw a shock land. Draw a shock land. Ugh, not a shock land. Shock land. What you got going on over here? All right, bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff. It's either Tribunal or Luxodon. Those are the two best cards. I think it's Tribunal. It's one of those two. I'll go Tribunal. Yeah, you you get matched on record or or close to it. You know, it's not always exact. But they try to match you on record. I'm mysterious. Rifa a mind is a terrific thing to waste. Let's get rid of one of these things. Davriel will die, but then we'll play Bolus, so they'll get rid of another thing. I like the uh, the lands from uh, as far as like other types of dual lands. You know, not like the real popular ones. I, I really like the Scry lands. I thought those were really fun. That's awesome for us. This has been a waste. They could have just attacked the Davriel and killed it. And now we get rid of this elephant. This mask is intimidating enough. Take Loneliness two. can hurt. Well, that's bad. That incentivizes them to attack. Whoa. Still in attack? There's no fire, no steel. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> uh, not really. I mean, they, they can't really get through Nicobola, so might as well not attack. Yeah, might as well not attack. No fire. No steel. I like a good decision. Ugh, what a whiner. No fire. No steel. Um. Uh, 
struggling. <laughs> Good. All right, here they come. Here come all these knuckleheads. Block one. Take some. Don't even have very many cards in their hand. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose this game. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. These Davriels aren't really doing too much. We'll, we'll see. What can we do? So we can, can go grab an elephant if I flip bolus. We gotta draw Enter the God Eternals. All I've left you is pain. We're contempt in this thing. Mm. If I wait one turn, this thing will be a 2 2. And then grow bigger, it'll be able to block indefinitely. Kind of need that thing to grow. And be a 6 6 lifelink. Don't think you'll be needing that. For my freedom, <laughs> a fair price. Kneel before your God. Man, we're this is so sad. Oh yeah, I missed the bullet damage. I do that a decent amount. It's definitely considering grabbing a healer's hawk to block this healer's hawk, but I guess we're just gonna grab the two things on the ground. So we're gonna untap and have, yeah, Angrath's not really doing a lot for us anyway. We're gonna untap and have a lot of mana and draw three cards because of Bola. So I, I like our chance. I'm gonna draw a lot of cards. Like we're gonna draw something good, right? Right deck? I know what must be okay, done. that card's kind of cool. Make them start sacrificing permanents. 
Don't really have any good permanence to sacrifice. No. I guess they have that one. I outsmarted you eons ago. That's the only one. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> eh, not really. All right, I think we have finally stabilized. I think. <laughs> yeah, nickel balls like screaming. <laughs> Maybe not with the second history banalia. So we're gonna draw four cards. Maybe even five cards. We can draw a lot of cards. Gotta find stuff. Right, that's that's okay, that's a start. My knowledge is endless. That is not a start. Hey, Captain. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for that resub. Sub number eight on the day. Thanks, Valor Axial. Getting the hype boats in there. Thank you. All the cosmos are mine to control. Finally, all right. We did it. We really did it. We finally did it. Eight eight life linker. So we're gonna win this one. Davriel's been doing some damage, but not really any damage that matters too much. So we're going to have all these sweepers, Cry the Carnariums, Ritual of Soots, Moment of Cravings, another Enter the God Eternal. Um, as we saw there, Davriel, not going to do a whole lot whenever they finish out their deck. Um, I think I want negates instead of duresses. I do like negating this matchup, but they, they just have so many spells. All right, let's give it a try. usually mind uh, Thieva Sandy here in this matchup. It's a way for us to you know just get a bunch of like their one ones, but that is but they they are playing a bunch of healers hawks though, so I wonder against specifically against healers hawk deck. 
Maybe we don't want them. Yeah, they again had one land. Got one land again. We're kind of dying though. Not attacking with Sky Marcher Aspirant. Dread, uh, I don't know, the Dread Horde is just pretty slow, and I think that it, I don't know, I'm worried about, uh, like, the, the loss of life and everything. And it is just basically a chump blocker. And, obviously, like, a late game, it can do some, some really good stuff for us. I think it's either that or Thieva Sanity, like whichever one we want to cut. Hey, what's up, Hood Rat? Thanks for the sub there. So number nine on the day. All right, we've had a couple weird matches here. Let's see what we got up next. We're two and one. Our our opponents are paying their gold also. Enter our event here. Exclamation point deck. We'll show you the deck list. Ugh, that's risky. We need to draw like three lands. Mulligan. Come on. There we go. Zaffron Void. I don't see that one too often. Nice, an artifact deck. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Haven't played against an artifact deck with the new set yet. There were some cool artifact cards. Printed. Let's see if we have any, like, size or Sahelis or anything like that over here. Hopefully we get a little bit better looking at our opponent's library. Yeah, our opponent's name is, is pretty sweet, Dank Jank. That's pretty sweet. There's the Sahili. If it's a challenge you want, then a challenge you'll get. All right, going wide. I think there's Sahili. Let's have our own Sahili. Sahili battle. Today I craft my victory. This has been a really weird league. <laughs> it's a Healy battle. They'll have a lot of things to sacrifice to Nickel Bowls to stick up. Stop!
Yeah, we can copy thief, make more th thieves when we get more artifacts. That looks pretty good. Wow, spell pierced me. Wow. They got me. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna shut off their Mox Amber and, and everything, their Mox Amber and their uh, treasure map. Because, yeah, it's, it's not just even mana ability is going to shut off everything. I advise. I will not stop. I don't think I get to double thief this turn, right? Because like they're going just wider. I mean, they're gonna just they attack Sahili for three. Sahili needs to minus two, so if they attack Sahili with all three, I can't copy. Oh, I'll craft something special for you. Innovation knows no bounds. I will return. It would keep them from going wide. That's our game plan. Maybe I should be scared more scared of the Karn. I don't know. Yeah, like they have Tezzeret can do a whole lot of damage to us. Oh, they had another Sahili. This is bad news for us. We could lose this. I guess I'm gonna. <clears throat> Time to come up with a new plan. I guess we're gonna bolus kill Sahili. Contempt the Healy now. Not every fight can end in victory. I'll learn from this. I don't think we really need like the double thief thing of like play bulls, double thief. I think we just want to get those those planeswalkers of theirs out of there. And save Bola. So now we're gonna 
kill Sai. I guess I may even just ritual of Soot, honestly. Sai's gonna be able to draw a decent amount of cards. Alright, we should definitely just ritual set. This is gonna destroy all, all or that's gonna destroy my thief and my other thing anyway this next turn. Well that's convenient. So I can Tyrant Scorn and put the Thief back in my hand. And then Soot. Why? You think I should just... I mean, if we draw another Thief, so y'all think I should just keep the Tyrant Scorn? And just, just sit and get rid of it. I mean, it's like, what else is the scorn going to do? It just can only kill Psy, basically. So we want to hold this for in case they draw another Psy. Well, we could draw another Thief. I'm bouncing this. I'm bouncing. Just because they have the like an answer to it with Spires of Araska. They're gonna spend two treasures to draw one card. They have to spend, they have to spend two mana with Sai. Like each one of those. Wow, they're spending two treasures to draw one card. Those treasures, they could, they could just. Those treasures were both two cards. All right, so they did find another Sai. All right, now I, I guess I wish I would have had that thing now. Wish I would have had the Tyrant Scorn to kill the Psy. <laughs> That's the only card they could they could draw though, and make it worth it. Welcome to the stream, my bad. Sub number 10 on the day. Got our first sub goal. I'll mark that down being towards our next sub battle stream. And we're going to crack open a pack after this match. I will spare pack time. you in exchange for eternal servitude. And Psy just gets to draw a whole lot of cards. We, we got to get that thing out of here. You know, that takes out our Nicol Bolas. <laughs> Scriptures already had the second chapter. Scriptures is not going to kill Sky or kill Psy. It already did the second chapter. It's about I to do the third chapter. Uh, do I think Tamio pushes Nexus over the top? For for now, yeah. We'll see if there's anything that I came into being long before uh, your kind changes that. So yeah, for now. I have other schemes to attend to. 
I'm not sure. Yeah, our opponent could have, uh, could have attacked and just killed it. In my image. <laughs> I am omnipotent. Yeah, the maze of Earth is pretty good. That almost hurt. I bet with the donation too. Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, so our so this is the plan. I'm going to attack Ugin with both of these creatures. Assuming one gets Maze of it and one gets blocked. And... Uh, then it, it does put a card in their hand, but we have like the discard effects that them having another card in their hand is not really that bad. So let's see what they got. Just a Mox Amber. Yes, please. I would like that card. To order 20. They're just gonna blast zone for three now, though. Let yeah, me I sure will. I bet. Brain for a minute. So I cannot exploit. My plan here was to kind of just to have the nickel bolus kill the Ugin and be able to have the thief block this 1 1 so my bolus wouldn't die. Struggling. But that's not very good against Blast Zone. That, oh, they're just taking up Blast Zone just to kill Bolus. Truth lies beyond vision. Well, that's even worse for me, I suppose. Yes, maybe I should have just destroyed you again. I will return. So they're at ten. Can Davriel finish this out from them being at ten? Whenever that token leaves the battlefield, dang it, not just dies.
We'll just put that card back in their hand uh, so we can make them discard it. That's All good. I've left you is pain. Let us begin. This has been such a long league. I feel like these games are so long. Choice. You just can't win. Wait, does Tezzeret have affinity for artifacts when it's not on the battlefield? Like when it's just in your hand? Does it have affinity for artifacts? Boom and bathe in ghost fire. Okay. It just explains what affinity for artifacts is. How it has that explanation there, I just... I didn't think so, but how it how it explains it there. I will fight for my friends. I'll make use of that later. I have not played any Feather decks yet. That is on our list of decks to play. We've not played one yet. So Tezzeret gain, gets to gain life, right? Deals X damage to each opponent where X is the number of artifacts you control, you gain X life. So we can deal three, gain three right now. Nothing is ever truly lost. Yeah, I like this song quite a bit too. It's a good one. Genghis Kong. Alright, blink of an eye back. So there goes the token. They find something for Davriel. Well, that, that cycles. Let's pay two sack one artifact, right? No, sack two artifacts. Okay, never mind. Ugh. Well, that just cycles. Oh, they tapped the arch, the the spires of Araska got tapped. The maze of its land. Widespread, widespread brutality instead of cry the carnarium just cost costs more and it doesn't and it deals damage and not the minus x minus x i really like the minus empty your mind and then davriel we got a game win with davriel Got a game win with Davriel. We've played some weird ones here. A 
like our opponent's deck and our deck like not being able to win like both of our both the decks just being so defensive and it's just like we can't find ways to win I don't know, I guess I'm dread hoarding I feel like Angrath would be good. Like, they don't really attack Planeswalkers and how it can sit there and, and tick up. I guess it's Davriel. Unfortunately. No, I don't really want the Soots. I don't think we need, like, four Sweepers. I think we could just have, like, the Cry of the Carnariums. That's good enough for the Sahilis and everything, all the other tokens. It doesn't. Yes, Cry doesn't kill. Um, doesn't kill Psy. But we have a bunch. We have other removal for Psy. And if we have our Dread Horde going, if we have our Dread Hordes going, I don't want them to die to Ritual of Soot. No, we don't need Ego for Psy. They have all those Planeswalkers that can win. It's not like it's not like they just rely on Psy to win. You only want to play Ego whenever your opponent's really relying on something to win. Because it's just card disadvantage that you have to spend a, a turn and, like, spend mana and spend a turn on just to put yourself down a card. Which is not good. So if your opponent is just playing, like, a, a deck like our opponent is right now that has a lot of other things that win, there's no reason to play your Unmored Ego. Good job, Ice Burning. Way to hit Platinum. Way to go. How do I like the Bant mid-range? Like that, yeah, that Super Friends deck we played. It was all right. If you wish to surrender now, meditate and prepare. So it looks like our opponent wants to be able to play Psy with either protection or, like, be able to have an artifact immediately. I'll just have the Tyrant Scorn here in case they do play Psy. Keep an open mind. Out pretty well for us. I still have much to learn. I like Bolas here instead of Thief because like how they have the bounce spell. And if, like if they you know we play Thief, they could uh Thief is a really good target to bounce, where Nickel Bolas is not a good target to bounce. And they have a lot of good cards in their hand, making them discard any of those uh sounds like a good idea. And then after that, Nickel Bolas just uh, pressures the planeswalkers better if they play Karn or Sahili.
All right, sorry, Amastopian, you're going to have to come back. But I want Sai out of here. And now we get the Cry of the Carnarium out of our hand before we play Thief Sanity. <laughs> yeah, our opponent's real name is Dan K. Jank. I bet. <laughs> hey, Skitty Fat Man. Going well, going well. We've had it. This has been a, a really long Together, and kind of difficult we'll league. Great things, you and I. I have, uh, this league's wearing me down. I'm getting pretty tired. I didn't get the most sleep last night because of the Game of Thrones episode. I stayed up later after the stream and watched it. You will not dissuade me from battle. No, I bet we'll see another Bolas card again at some point. It could be like, you know, five years or something like that. But I I don't think Nickel Bolas Dragon God will be the last Bolas card printed. With honor. Oh, Fencer. All right, kill planeswalkers. That's what Bolus does. So that's what we're doing here. We're killing planeswalkers. I must accept will defeat. You know, remember now. in the story when Bolus killed planeswalkers? That's what we're doing. This match is so flavorful. No so do I want a Sahili? Do I want a Karn? Do I just want to draw some cards? If I tick up, they could just, you know, bounce my creature pretty easily. I train every day. I have just the trick for this. <clears throat> yeah, if I just tick up and draw two, like the blink of an eye just bounces my bolus. Now they can bounce their Narset and replay it. But my bolus is still flipped, and I get to untap with a flipped bolus, and that's sweet. So I'm perfectly happy with that. So many size. How many of these sides we gotta kill? It's the third one. Yeah, <sighs> Master Thopterist. Is unmatched. Hone your prowess. But devil. All right. Good job, Bolus. GGS. We defeated Dan K. Jank. All right, three and one.
All right, play first. Yeah, I think the Nexus deck is the deck to beat. It is very strong. I think those are. I think that's a. Uh, reasonable. Yeah, I think that's that's good to say that it's. Like, is that. Yeah, that's probably the deck to beat. The new set give it. Uh, Tamio. Uh, is, is really big in it, and then gave it a pretty good win con with. I mean, like, commence the end game. You can use that as a win con. Some people are just using the uh, bounce spell, like, you know, like the blink of an eye that makes a 1 1 as a spell as a win con. Yeah, exclamation point decks. Plural is where you can find all of the decks. Yeah, singular deck is how you find this specific deck. So let's see if they have Experimental Frenzy for us to take. We don't have very much life. We're dying over here. No Esper today. We're just playing these decks over here, and it looks like it is getting late here. It's, you know, 8.30. It's looking like we're not going to... I'm not going to uh, be playing the Selesnia tokens tonight. We'll have just the Muldrotha after this. <laughs> Gotta get this other Enter the God Eternals. Yeah, Siege Breaker, go ahead. Wrong card. So this is sixty four. I like it, Siege, Siege Breaker. I like it. I should just be playing Watery Grave here. I guess we're just doing that next turn now. Got a Krenko over there. Do they not draw any lands? Ugh, they just have all spells over there. Go thief, go. 
We need Thief to find burn spells to kill their creatures. Phoenix was not a burn spell. I definitely wanted a burn spell, but you know, I guess we get a Phoenix. Um, it's not very good because it it doesn't come back whenever we get the egg. It just goes back to them. But it can block like the Viashino Pyromancer. How effective is Unmoored Ego versus Simic Nexus? It is relatively effective. It can be a little bit of a trap depending on um, Maybe I should have just gotten the other thing. Uh, depending on what you name, the whole of the multiverse you know, sometimes you'll name Nexus and they can just go crazy master. with Wilderness Reclamation and as Kanta and just still find m enough spells and then it's okay. I generally like naming Wilderness Reclamation if you're playing it before they've played a, a Reclamation, if they have no Reclamations in play. I like naming I Reclamation. Hey, thanks, Yud. Donation day. Alright, now we're in a good spot. Thief with negate back up. We're doing good. Find a chain whirler? Wow. Submit zero. Wow, that was four lands in a row? I mean, they can't be playing that many lands, right? Nah, you'll be good, Yud. You'll be good. Hey, Delio. Uh, we lost to... Um, uh, what did we lose to? I don't remember. What what did we lose to? I, I can't... Oh, yeah. Counterspell Tribal. Yeah, we lost to a... a just a blue-white control with... Somewhere around 20 counter spells. Yeah, siding out Davriel. Unfortunately, against the red deck, Davriel doesn't work too well. Unfortunately.
down, down, down. We, we want to draw Enter the God Eternals. Or Nicobolas. Either Nicobolas will do. So they have seven spells in hand. I can't beat seven burn spells. They just have seven of these things. That's just going to deal 21 damage to me. I guess we wait to play Thief to have Thief with protection, right? Could have saved our thief. This is not good for us. Do they have to go to discard? Wow, now that's good for us. They all cost more mana than just three. Or than, than two, sorry. Is this B Devil or Bed Evil? <laughs> I guess I never asked myself that question before. Wow. And Grixis Davriel is suddenly on the doorstep of a five win league. We only have the final boss in our way. Final boss time. All right, maybe I need to reset arena. And see how it, it is getting a little laggy. Let's let's do a reset. I haven't reset at all, and so arena's been on for over six hours. It's usually too many hours for arena. Hey, Pyromaster, sorry about your mana troubles there that last game yeah tomorrow tomorrow doing early stream because I'm going to go see end game they did have the high, half price tickets um, it is not on stream decker mission um, I will put it up there though after this yeah sorry I should have done that earlier whenever I yeah I should have done that earlier sorry How long is the movie? No, no, you shouldn't be sorry at all, Mitch, and I... I should have done that earlier. My bad. Are you sh yeah, you shouldn't be sorry at all. Mariners are better than the Rangers. I think they, they just split four, right? I know the, the Rangers got the last couple games. So I'm taking that to make, I'm just doing that to make uh, cards like um, the elephant. I'm gonna make the elephant worse. Venerate Luxodon. Hey, what's up King J? Welcome back for the 18th month. And I am planning on doing this whole curve out thing here, so. I'm just kind of using that spell there. Sub number 11 on the day. Oh, I didn't crack a pack open. I forgot about cracking a pack open. 
We gotta do that. Attack! What you got over here? Woo! I don't know how your deck ever beats that card, but we're gonna find out. That's a good one. Yes, mods will ban you if you say spoilers. Yes. Don't say spoilers in chat. Don't do that. Say we had a pretty good one, two, three, four, five curve. Really? All right, I guess I guess you got me. Best place to see the decks that I'm playing is right here, exclamation point decks. That's where you can see all the deck lists. Moment of Craving, Cry of the Carnarium, Ritual of Soot, Enter the God Eternals. We have a plan against aggro. And unfortunately it doesn't really... Doesn't really have Davriel in mind. I like I like Carnival Carnage in this matchup. Like Carnival um you know, kills like the low creatures, just you know, one mana removal spell. I like that. And how they empty their hand, there could be a there could definitely be a time like when we have four mana and they have like two cards in hand with like sitting on like tribunals and we get rid of them. So I guess this what is this thing called? Moment of Triumph? I guess that does save their creatures from Cry of the Carnarium. Not Ritual of Sit, though. So how can I get this moment of triumph out of their hands so I can bolus away this conclave tribunal? an extra two but like that's the thing I want to contempt because I have like this all this stuff will kill other things yeah you just have to have your twitch prime and your Amazon prime linked up
and uh, then should be able to subscribe <clears throat> on Twitch Prime. Like when you have your, your Twitch Prime account, uh, just yeah, go to the subscribe button in the top right, just hit that, and it will give you the option. All right, so we're going down to six. But now we're going to sit away their stuff. Got a couple of removal spells. We got a bolus. Got another bolus. Hexproof from black. It's a little annoying. Get out of here, Healer's Hawk. Get on out of here. Yeah, Tyrant Scorn on Nicol Bolas. Remember when that happened? Whoops, sorry. Remember when that happened in the story? Alright, that's five wins. Is our victory fanfare? We got there. Remember how I look forward to seeing your mistakes. This one looked so bad for us early. Uh, you know, we lost our first match. The second one, we were losing. We lost game one in the second match, and it was looking real bad. And then we turned it on. Just started playing against a bunch of aggro decks. Just kind of kept winning. And here we are. Five win dream for Grixis Davriel. Yeah, let's crack that pack. Let's do that. Crack a pack. Celebrate getting the five wins, and of course our other... Hey, thanks, Yen. The sub goal also. Parhelion. Yeah, that was a long league. All right, so... As, okay, as y'all know for who was here at the, the beginning, uh, you know, if you watch this on YouTube whenever I talked about it, our our donation deck here was to build a deck around uh, in kind of like an 8-rack style where um, we, like an 8-rack in modern, which is just punishes people for having no cards in hand. And so I definitely wanted to play Davriel as like a, you know, something that punishes them for having no cards in hand. Fortunately, it's not so good against aggro, but it, you know, so like we were sideboarding out a lot because we were playing against a bunch of aggro. So that's unfortunate. But besides Daffriel being a way to punch people without having cards in hand, Thief of Sanity was our way also. You know, we would clear their hand and then Thief of Sanity would just take cards from them and, you know, finish the game out uh, with that. Um, and so. That leads us to blue black, and then I wanted to be red also because I wanted to play Angrath with make you know another way to make him discard a bunch of cards. Uh, but yeah, that was our deck. I, it's certainly possible I should not be playing Carnival Carnage. I I wanted the Carnage, especially in this version, as another way to discard cards, but maybe Carnival Carnage isn't good enough. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not impactful enough. Dreadhorde Invasion was pretty cool for us. Enter the God Eternal is pretty cool. Um. Yeah, our sideboard did its thing. Our, all of our sideboard sweepers were good against aggro. There's, uh, we got an, uh, somebody else put a, a Siegebreaker 7, put a Davriel built mono black, a mono black discard deck. Um, here it is in the, that I'm just putting in the chat. I'm going to put it in the, uh, 
the description of the deck on YouTube as well, a link to it of like a mono black Davriel discard deck. Um, so if you wanted like a, a different kind of Davriel deck that uh, was maybe, you know, mono black kind of like uh, eight rack and, you know, built on discard a little more instead of a very slow control deck like this is, I'll put a link to that deck as well in the chat because it looks, it looks pretty sweet. It looks pretty interesting. So there we go. All right. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching. And